Folks, this is Chris Voss from thechrisvossshow.com. Be sure to check out my new uh, social media marketing t strategy course that I've put up uh, on the Chris Voss Show. You can see at the very top, there's been some huge changes we made and uh, changed the product around. Uh, so be sure to check it out. Um, it's going to have some amazing stuff on it, of course, and it includes one-hour consulting with moi. And uh, what better things can you do? Um, anyway, I want to talk to you... <laughs> I've been meaning to possibly blog about this for a year, but I keep putting it off because I'm like, this is so obvious that it's stupid to blog about. But I guess it's really not that obvious because I've just had it up to here with people sending me messages complaining about uh, what I send in my feed. They don't like positive quotes, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yet they've, uh, <laughs> they've clicked to subscribe and follow me. Now, this latest person wrote, you ever heard of permission marketing? Uh, okay. When you follow someone on social media, when you subscribe to their feed, okay, you are following them. You are giving them permission to send what you want. It's just like subscribing to an email uh, or subscribing to uh, someone's website uh, feed that they're doing. You are subscribing to get their information. Now, hopefully you're smart. Maybe you do an investigation as to what they're putting out. Uh, as if you're completely anal about what is going to be sent to you, maybe you shouldn't have an auto-follow uh, system put in and you should be engaging more um, the <laughs> so it's interesting to me when people complain about something they've chosen to do okay the Chris Foss show or Chris Foss on Twitter or Facebook LinkedIn wherever you get me uh, or anybody else's account really is something that once you click the follow button or once you subscribe to it you have opted in it is opt-in marketing and you have opted in to get the messages. Now, it is like a radio station or a TV channel. You have chosen to tune in to my channel and listen to it and get it in your feed. Probably mixed up with all the other channels you listen to. But if you do not like the feed, just unfollow it. Change the channel. It's quite the concept. You do it all the time at home. Okay? Now, all you have to do is unfollow people. You don't have to block them because they're not going to continue to harass you with messages, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. What they're going to continue to do is send out their message. So just unfollow them. Now, I put a, a good blog post blog below this of someone who uh, put some comments up on uh, Guy Kawasaki. And how it's important in our community. We're not just running around blocking everybody that we don't like their message. But we just need to unfollow them because... Uh, well, he explains it very well. I'll let him do it in the uh, piece below this video. But for the most part, don't complain about someone's Twitter feed or their other feeds. If you don't like it, unfollow them. Now, you may want to write them very nicely and say, hey, I really love, uh, you know, maybe the information you're putting out. Do you really have to put out this much or whatever the case may be? But let, let's put it this way. I'm not a moron. I'm putting out what I put out and 60, well, there's over 100,000, 50 thousand people that follow the Chris Voss show information on Twitter, Facebook, and all my other different stuff. So um, I tend to think that a lot of people like to hear what I have to say. Um, otherwise, I probably wouldn't have any followers, I suppose. So I tend to think that there's something there to be shared, and I work very hard to bring people information that's either going to motivate you, entertain you, educate you, make your life better, make you successful in business, on the web, etc., etc. So I hope I work really hard and achieve my goals at giving you some of these great concepts that you should tune in for and should watch. But if you don't, just please and follow. Don't complain. I'm not stupid. I send this stuff out on purpose. I send that out to share it with people that really enjoy it. And if you go to my website, there's a page on there where there's probably 400 comments that people have said about me over the last half of a year and share with me about how I've changed and affected and influenced their lives and made a difference for them. So I like to think that's my audience, that's my public that I'm going to. So not to belabor the point, but I guess I already did. If you don't like somebody, unfollow them. Don't look like a moron and be stupid complaining about something about what they already know they're sending out and have decided to send out and also, you know, don't, don't sit there and tell them they need to change their ways, okay? We need all, if you if you reference my blog post about the Gestapo, we don't need haters running around telling every people, everyone, that there is a certain way you have to operate your Twitter feed or your Facebook feed or your LinkedIn. There's not. 
It's not a Nazi society. It's a free, flipping country. If you don't like it, unfollow. But don't run around and threaten everybody. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny. As I got a message the other day from someone, and they were uh, telling me that uh, I think they had about 2,000 followers on their Twitter account, and they were saying that they've been on since uh, 2008 on Twitter, and they were chastising me that me and their majority of people that they created on Twitter of the last two years do not approve of the way that I use Twitter. Um, and I said to him, I said, well, you have 2,000 followers. I seem to have 150,000 across all my accounts. Um, who's this they that you're talking about that don't approve of what I'm doing? Okay, Because I, I think there's probably more people who don't approve of what you're doing since no one's following you. <laughs> Very funny stuff. So don't walk around or don't be intimidated by these people that are walking around the Gestapo that are like, everyone must march step in the same way to Hitler's message. Move on. Anyway, thanks for coming by the ChrisVosShow.com. I hope at least the last part entertained you if it was a bit over. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.